This year for my birthday, I got COVID. I wanted to bring you guys my what I got for my birthday video. I ended up with COVID and so my intentions got shuffled around because of the beginning of the month and how that went. I, I will be filming that. This is part of what I got for my birthday and I wanted, I felt like this deserved its own video and I, I wanted to film it right now because I, I want to wear it and stuff, but I wanted to show it to you guys the way it arrived to me. So let's get started, guys. So first, let me say, I think that this is my most beautiful piece of fine jewelry that I've purchased to date. That's how I feel about this piece. This is also a piece that I have been wanting for, gosh, I want to say four years yeah, I'm going to say four years or so. I've alluded to these pieces, but I never specifically detailed what I wanted. This is Gucci's fine jewelry, and this is... Is it coming across? I feel like it isn't. It is just so absolutely beautiful. It's completely getting washed out, unfortunately. But it is a beautiful opal ring. I did get this from Fashion File, you guys, and I could not believe the price point that I got. I'm going to have to insert photos of it because it's getting fully, fully washed out. But the, I'll go ahead and show you. It is 18 karat gold with a beautiful pink opal and a center diamond. That is just stunning. Also, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, this has the most beautiful detail, like I've mentioned about Gucci. Like, who is doing the back of a ring and adding, like, a tiger head to the back with diamonds in the eye? Who does that? That is just so extra and beautiful. A concern that I did have with regards to this uh, tiger head in the back was that it might end up feeling uncomfortable and I did want to address that because it actually isn't. It actually raised enough where it isn't uncomfortable at all and as of today I've been wearing it for about a week now. I've actually been sleeping with it you guys so I'm surprised about that and I've kept it on for the most part. I believe this collection was launched several years ago. I have, it's been in my ether for a while. I've kept an eye on the collection forever and a day and I intended on purchasing it full price, but I'm glad I didn't, even though I feel that what the full price point of this ring is completely worth it so it dawned on me recently that this ring from the gucci collection le marquis de maravillas actually came in under my gucci chain ring which you guys know i absolutely love currently the chain ring retails for 790 dollars and while i think that is completely worth it this ring came in at 695 dollars with all of the detail, it is such a spectacular win as far as purchases that I've made. It is just absolutely breathtaking. Never seen it at that price point. And I have to say that I was completely floored at the way that I received it because I always imagined that I would get it for, you know, less than retail. But it, I swear to you guys, it looks completely brand new unused super shiny as if it was never used the back says gucci on it i'm not sure again i will go ahead and insert cutaway of it just so you guys get a better picture of it but i'm completely flabbergasted by this ring the truth be told i'm not a hundred percent sure how this is going to work with my lifestyle. I hadn't wanted to put it on again because I wanted to film for you guys. I received it on Friday, it's Monday, and I've been playing with it every single day, putting it on and stuff, just to give you guys like a full visual of how it arrived from Fashion File. One of the reasons why I wanted this particular ring was I've always mentioned a ring that my mom wore when I was a 
a little girl and it was an opal ring that she had on her winter finger and it, there was a matching pendant that she would wear and I think that that's one of the things I, I've mentioned before where I become enamored with signature jewelry and I feel like this is going to be that I'm hoping to wear it that way I'm not sure if I'll be able to um it, it is very comfortable but I'm not sure if it's going to be something like even it's too beautiful right I think it's something that I'm going to have to throw on every day and then you know if I'm doing housework I am going to have to take this off just because I don't want to damage the opal it's just so beautiful I have an obsession with opals because of that. It's also my daughter's birthstone. So I'm sure at some point this will probably go over to her. It is such a magnificent piece. To discuss my concern with the opal, even though the hardness of an opal versus a mother of pearl is, I will note here what the actual uh, hardness is of each. However, the difference between the Mother of Pearl piece that I have from Van Cleef is that it's flushed. And so this piece over here is domed. And so I do think that that adds a little element of concern as far as, you know, wearing it and possibly knocking my hand into something and maybe damaging the stone. Again, because it is domed. Um, and this is flat so I am concerned about that but I have been like I mentioned wearing it on a regular basis and I'm just not good at being precious with my things you guys that is something that I am concerned about but it's too beautiful not to wear and like I've said with Gucci jewelry the workmanship is incredible the detailing is incredible i couldn't possibly be even more in love with gucci at the moment i can't believe the price point you guys even like i said at its original price which was again about 16.95 i think was a steal it's weightier than my justin clue now i'm sure that the stone has something to do with it but just the gold is incredibly solid and stunning the difference in gram weight between this piece over here uh the gucci ring and my justin clue which is a small justin clue this uh ring that i just purchased for 695 dollars the gram weight on it is six grams and the gram weight on the justin clue is four grams this ring comes in different stones which i've also seen available i've seen it in black onyx i've seen it in, with garnet also with jade and turquoise uh, those are the stones that i remember seeing this and i highly recommend this obviously i can't believe that people are sleeping on gucci's fine jewelry both on the resale market and current pieces to be quite honest which brings me to my next point any gemstone jewelry that they produce they are all limited pieces they don't repeat pieces with gemstones and so i know that for some people they think that that means it's not a classic and those kinds of conversations in my opinion that means that these pieces are far more rare and a lot more special so they are not going to repeat this collection with a gemstone they may make it in all solid gold those are usually pieces that they do repeat so that is an interesting fact while a lot of us in the community tend to gravitate towards a lot of the same kinds of pieces timeless pieces we all love cartier we all love van cleef you know our love rings are just clues and the alhambras and stuff it's nice to kind of separate yourself from the pack like what do you like you know absent from the community and this for me is just one of those things that i feel like thrilled to own i i can't i couldn't wait to share it with you guys let me know what you guys think of it it is just so so beautiful you guys and i couldn't be more excited about this so 100 percent a birthday gift for me the price point was a gift the way that it was the way that it arrived was a gift and the condition is a, a gift in itself so 
I will go ahead and share if I find any with you guys, but I'm dying to know what you guys think of the piece. It is absolutely something that I don't or haven't seen here. It's just something that I have been eyeing for many, many years. I've also been eyeing the pendant. There's matching earrings, and I just think it's so, so beautiful. I had shared an image of this with only one other person here in the community, and that was Kimmy from KK Love CC. So I finally got it. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.